Hey guys, welcome back to Gary Morgan Art, and today I'm going to talk to you about whether or not art school is viable in 2022 and 2023 for artists, illustrators, concept artists, and just designers in general. Whether it's worth it for the debt and everything else, the, the curriculum, the, the schedule, the nightlife, the party life, or whether all of this is worth the debt or whether you should just get a job and fund your art part-time. Okay, so point one for university or college, you gain a load of professional experience and working with other creatives to push towards deadlines and you get used to critiquing yourself and critiquing others which is really important when you're in industry. So that's one thing I found when I was in university is you had to turn up after you've done a deadline or a project and you'd have to critique other people's work to have your work critiqued by both the teacher and other students. So you'd get to see a kind of outlook on your own creative process that you didn't see before. And as for point one for not, there are plenty of affordable methods out there to help you build your own professional portfolio that will make you hireable inside in the industry, the art design industry. And I know based on my personal experience that my degree is not, I don't even have a piece of paper or anything. It's kind of just shows your dedication more than anything. But I know that there are courses out there that are like far better than anything that I ever learned in university and far cheaper. So for instance, we have Ahmad al Duri, who is a brilliant illustrator, designer, creative, concept artist, painter that does his own YouTube videos, but he released a course on painting not so long ago. And this course breaks down portraiture, how to like use color, light, paint 3D. It, like, I can't really explain all of it at this point in time, but I think it's like about 250 pounds or 300 dollars which makes it so much more worth than university so if you were going to do this course to just get getting a part-time job working your way up to about 200 pounds depending on where you live if you live with your parents it'll become much easier i recommend that if you are in a place where you can save up the money and buy our courses i would do that instead of university as industry professionals don't care if you have a degree they care about results the speed of the result and how many great pieces you have in your portfolio so there's a common saying in industry that your portfolio is only as good as your worst piece so if you have 15 decent pieces and there's not one excellent one in there they know the standard of work you're going to be having but if you have seven excellent pieces and then another eight uh, like standard pieces they know that your level of work is going to be at that standard at its lowest point um and then you uh, on top of that you have the proco course website so there's a bunch of professionals in the industry giving you advice and tutorials how you can create professional portfolios Skillshare, the exact same thing if you're looking at concept artists, still Skillshare has hundreds of courses on everything from photography, painting, character design, videography, coding, programming, it's endless. You can do anything you want on the internet these days for a fraction of the price that's in universities these days. So it's nine grand per term currently in the UK, which is like ridiculous. And then on top of that, you got to take into account the uh, maintenance loans you get and the grant. So say you take the full amount, that's currently like £7,000 with a £1,000 grant, depending on your household income. So that, in comparison to £200 to £300, it, it sounds like a lot up front, but it, these are industry professionals. And they will get you on your way to generate like great art. As long as you focus and you're dedicated and you treat it like a job when you're outside of the work that you have to do to afford your bills and paying for these etc 
And and then you have Gumroad. If you have a, if you have a particular artist you'd like to follow, Ahmed, like I said before, he does Gumroad courses. And this obviously then there's just like Two Brush, YouTube. So you can find a bunch of tutorials out there for free as well. It doesn't even cost you any money to learn these days. You just need the structure. Now this is probably one of the most important parts for people when this subject comes up. So say if you're a person that likes the life of uni on campus then accommodation you, you're sharing houses with people you're in city centers generally and you tend to have access to alcohol or the party life so it depends on what type of person you are if you are more secluded and introverted and not interested in putting yourself into the party genre then it's probably that uni life is probably not for you anyway however if you if it's for you and you think that the £27,000 for three semesters is worth it for you and then you obviously I guess gains interest every year as well then they're not by all means like I did it I thoroughly enjoyed it I got my experience out of it but looking back now I think I should have just got a part-time job in Tesco stackage shelves paid for courses and built my portfolio in my part time instead of dedicating three years of my life to get a degree I don't even have on hand or have been brought up since I've been hired in the industry. However, there is one thing I will say about university is that it has a great structure. So it gives you a brief deadlines. It gives you practice in presentation. It gives you practice in time management. You get a chance to go into the field and uh, workplace experience and this really will help you build your portfolio and the thing that clients that potentially want to hire you might prefer industry experience generally through university whereas if you don't have any client work as of yet as a freelancer as doing it part-time you might not be able to break into the industry as easily if you are not like the top 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 tier it will take a good few years probably building your portfolio until it's at the level where they're like all right this guy is like insane he can paint and we want him on our team but at the end of the day it's learning to build the cv it's learning to build professionally written professionally organized cover letters and then a portfolio as well i i'd obviously i would say invest in a website because instagram artstation and anything like that won't really cut there. You need to have your own professional website, even if that's not what gets you hired in the end, as that means other people can go back and look at that and see what is your most current work and how you would design your website. That shows a design sense. And people will like to look at that. And Instagram takes all that away and ArtStation takes all that away. So in conclusion, I think depending on the creative and depending on the person, university may be worth it. If you are into learning as much as you can, like devouring the resources at hand at the university, making full use of the lecturers, really enjoy the nightlife, want to make friends, want to be involved in the community, want to get a degree so you're more hireable after university, want the workplace experience from the university, and just having the fun while you're there, I think you will choose to go to, go to university 27,000 pound or not you will still make that decision i think and not camp i think it's a decent argument and i can me personally i completely agree it is perfect for me somebody that likes to be remote to not go to university i think what i could have done is just got a part-time job me personally and if there's anybody out there that's the same that feels like they could just get a part-time job and buy courses on the internet, TB Choi, Ahmed, Gumroad Tutorials, just look through ArtStation, there's some decent tutorials on there too. You can make a decent portfolio over a certain set of time as long as you're being quite strict with yourself. You would give yourself like a structure of, I'm going to paint five heads today i'm gonna to paint five noses i'm gonna paint five years i'm gonna practice painting mouths i'm gonna practice the figure i'm gonna practice the anatomy and you do this repetitively 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 and you'll eventually you will you will just like as long as you implement the practices and the tutorials you will see improvement quicker than you would in university i find because you 
you go in for an experience in university whereas if you buy something with your own money you're more likely to do it if that makes sense because it's a loan it doesn't feel like it's your money right anyway guys i really appreciate time i i hope i hope this is helpful if it was please leave a like and subscribe turn on your notification bell to be notified when i post future videos appreciate your time thanks guys